This is the Haftorah, the portion of the prophets for Parshas Kedoshim. And um, part of this uh, project is to, to include both um, Ashkenazim and Svartim, both customs. And uh, this time it's pretty close. They're both from Ezekiel and they're both basically from the same portion. But um, one is, uh, it starts from a verse earlier. Um, so I'll, I'll start... Um, with uh, with one custom, not necessarily a preference. Um, I'll start with the Ashkenazim. I might start with Spartan next time. There's no uh, favoritism for either one. But um, the portion of the prophets, the Torah for Ashkenazim, um, they read from Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 1 through 19. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 1 through 19. And the word of the Lord came to me saying, And you, son of man, will, will you judge? Will you judge the city of bloodshed and let her know all her abominations? Then you shall say, So said the Lord God, O city that sheds blood in her midst, even now, when her time is approaching and makes idols over her to defile herself. By the blood that you have shed, you have become laden with guilt, and by your idols that you have made, you have become defiled. And you have made your days draw near, and you have come up to your years. Therefore, I have made you an object of shame to the nations, and subject of gossip to all the lands. Those that are near and those that are far from you will gossip about you. You whose name is so befouled, in whom the turmoil is so great. Behold, the princes of Israel were in you, each one by his own arm, in order to shed blood. Father and mother are held light in you. They have dealt against the stranger with oppression in your midst. Orphan and widow have they wronged in you. My holy things have you despised, and my Sabbaths you have profaned. Talebearers have been in you in order to shed blood, and you, and in you they have eaten upon the mountains. In your midst they have held wicked plans. Their father's nakedness they uncovered in you. They have afflicted the woman in her unclean period. In you, one man committed an abomination with his neighbor's wife. Another incestuously defiled his daughter-in-law. And another afflicted his sister, the daughter of his father. In you, they have taken bribes to shed blood. Usury and increased pay have you taken and enriched your neighbors with dishonest gain. And me you have forgotten, says the Lord God. And behold, I clap my hands together over your dishonest gain, which you have made, and over your blood guilt that is in you. Will your heart endure, or will your hands remain strong in the days that I will deal with you? I, the Lord, have spoken, I shall perform. I will scatter you among the nations and fling you out into the land and I will make your impurity completely disappear out of you. And you shall be profaned within yourselves before the eyes of the nations and you shall know that I am the Lord. And the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, the house of Israel has become dross to me. All of them are copper and tin and iron and lead in the midst of a furnace, dross of silver they have become. Therefore, so says the Lord God, because you have all become dross, therefore behold, I gather you together in the midst of Jerusalem, 